Hey folks, welcome to another day, another unboxing. This is the Realme 7 5G, yeah. It's my first time unboxing and reviewing a Realme phone, so I'm pretty excited about that. As you can see, this is what the box looks like. Realme 7 5G R here. There's a little barcode here, another thing here. There's some iMAs in the back. But it tells you here what you need to know. Dimensity 800U 5G chip from MediaTek. 30 watt fast charging, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, 48 megapixel quad camera, 120 hertz IPS panel. So I don't know the price of this phone, but it's supposed to be the most affordable 5G phone in the world. So if I do get pricing before I edit this video, I will put it right here. Dun, 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 Wee, it's a little hard to open. It's a deep box. First up, we have a divider. Hey, welcome to the Realme family. Cool. And then in here is documentation and a little case. TPU, kind of smoky. Uh, these are nice. You know, they get you started and they don't cost you anything and they generally last pretty well. So I'm excited to see that they have that. We have a manual here. Important information guide. I guess it must be in multiple languages. I don't see any illustrations anywhere. Then we have the phone itself. Here we go. And we have another divider. And in here, of course, we have what they call Dart charging, which is their branding of, you know, warp charging for OnePlus, uh, Oppo VOOC, since it's BBK group. So if you look, this actually looks very much like the same charger as what you get on a OnePlus phone with the Warp 30T. European prongs, USB type A port, it's colored coded green like VOOC is. You've got a cord here with USB type A in here, yellow with USB type C here. So A to C, green plug, 30 watt proprietary fast charging. You need this cable and this charge at 30 watt. So that's it. We've got a little SIM removal tool action down here. Cute. And that's basically it. So let's take a look at the phone, shall we? Here we go. There it is. So let me remove the packaging here. There we go. And, and let me remove that IMA sticker from the back as well. There we are. So, ta-da! Ooh, look at that. I love this two-tone matte finish. It's, it's matte on both sides, but it's spun such that, you know, it reflects the light in this really cool way. See that? Yeah, very nice. Realme logo, camera pod, four cameras, LED flash. Hmm, this looks really nice. Um, I'm not sure if it's glass or plastic, but even though this might be all plastic for the price point, it feels more premium than the OnePlus Nord N10 5G I recently unboxed. I'll put it up here. But, uh, you know, same, same parent company. So also like that instead of a rear-mounted fingerprint sensor, they have it side-mounted in the power lock key. Since this is an IPS panel, you don't have the ability to put an in-display fingerprint sensor. Let me fire it up. So this nice little display here is a 6.5 inch, 1080p, 120 hertz display. So it's IPS, again, 6.5 inch, 1080p, 120 hertz, which is amazing. Now there's a bit of a chin here, like a lot of LCD IPS panels. It's about as pronounced, maybe a bit less than on the OnePlus Nord N10 5G, and that's a bit of a bummer. I wish they were able to do a little less. I understand they need it because it's an IPS panel, but I mean, again, at this price point, I'm not worrying about it too much. So that's for the display. Under the hood, there's a Dimensity 800U 5G chip from MediaTek. That's pretty exciting. Six or eight gigs of RAM and 120 gigs of storage with micro SD support. And then uh, inside under the hood here, there's a 5,000 milliamp hour battery that can obviously be charged by the 30 watt fast charging we discussed earlier. So that's pretty exciting. It does pick up fingerprints, this matte finish a little bit. So that's telling me it's probably plastic. 
Anyway, the front-facing camera is a 16 megapixel f over 2.1. I don't know the pixel size. Anyway, so in the back here, we have four cameras. We have a 48 megapixel main sensor. That's a Samsung sensor with an f over 1.8 lens, uh, no OIS, and I believe the pixel size is 0.8 microns. There's an eight megapixel ultra wide in here as well. It is an f over 2.3 lens. Again, I do not know the pixel size. I presume it's 1.12 microns. Then there's two two megapixel sensors, a macro and a portrait depth sensor, also probably used for monochrome shots to enhance light. It is f over 2.4 on each lens. Again, I don't know the pixel size, but typically the BBK group has been using 1.75 microns on these two megapixel sensors. So that gives you the layer land in terms of cameras. And we talked about the battery and the processor and the display. And so the only thing left is really to look around the edges. On the right hand side here, you have the power lock key and the fingerprint sensor integrated, which I really like. On the bottom, you have a speaker. USB Type-C port, primary microphone, and a headphone jack, which is really nice. I don't think this phone has stereo speakers, but I'll let you know if I find out. On the left-hand side here, you have the SIM tray, dual SIM, micro SD support, and a volume rocker, as you can see. And on top, you just have the secondary mic. It's pretty straightforward. This is a pretty straightforward design. So that's it, folks. That is the Realme 7 5G, and it's supposed to be the cheapest, one of the cheapest 5G phones on the planet today and it rocks a MediaTek Dimensity 800U 5G chip. I've played with the Dimensity 1000C chip so it'll be interesting to see what the performance is like on this SoC. So folks stay tuned I'll have more videos soon. Please like, subscribe, tell your friends, click the notification bell below. Tell me would you buy this phone? It looks pretty cool on paper. Assuming the price is right is this something you would consider? I'd love to know. And of course, you folks know this is a compliment to my podcast at mobiletechpodcast.com. So please subscribe to the podcast. We're on Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Spotify, everywhere. If you want to know what I think of this phone, you'll have to listen to the show. That's it, folks. Stay tuned. I'll have more content soon. Cheers, everybody.